Next question is from Amber Salino. When reverse dieting, should macros or calories be the priority? Yeah, so this is an interesting one because uh, macronutrients have calories. So macros, proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. Uh, The key with reverse dieting is to slowly increase your calories over time, try to build some muscle, try to speed up the metabolism through that process. So it's and typically you want to do resistance training as part of this, bump your calories slowly, your metabolism actually will speed up so you can eat more. Now, are macros an important part of that? Of course, because you still want to hit your protein, especially protein and fat requirements. Um, and high protein is going to help this process. So it's hard to it's hard to say which one well, is more important. I feel it's a very simple answer. It's the answer is macros. The reason why it's macros is if you hit your macros, you hit your calories. If you hit your calories, you don't necessarily hit your macros. Right. So it's to me it's yeah, a very a it's a very simple answer. Like if you figure out using some sort of a macro calculator or doing it longhand, this is what I need to be eating: proteins, fat, and carbs. Those are your macros, and you stick to those you'll hit what you're supposed to hit calorie-wise. You'll be either, if you're reverse dieting, you'll be etching it up slowly like you're supposed to. If you're dieting and cutting, you'll be hitting under the calories like you're supposed to. Uh, If you just follow calories and say, oh, I'm trying to reverse diet and I was at 1,700 calories, now I want to be at 1,900, but those 1,900 calories all come from carbs and not enough protein or too much fat, not enough protein, or, or, or at that, then you then it's not working. So if you just follow the macros, yeah. then you're, it's inevitable the calories will line up. Isn't uh, the term reverse dieting, isn't that just redundant, right? Because <laughs> mm. aren't you just or eating? An oxymoron. It's focusing, more of an oxymoron than a redundant. focusing on eating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like that's so, your focus instead of dieting. What's right? the opposite of dieting? Well, I think so I think the reason why it's 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 coined as a diet is because you're you are following some sort of a structure. It's not intuitive, mm-hmm. right? You're you are strategically adding calories slash right. macros to the to to your you're diet. You're scaling it up because you're trying to yeah, that's right. in, increase it, the amount of calories. So I think that's day. why it gets yep. it gets termed as a diet because you're you're not necessarily reducing, you're adding to your point. Right. Uh, so I get what and you're saying. And it is a strategy. I'm just kind of talking shit, but that's, you know, it's something I think a lot of people like me would be confused with this, just throwing that term out there if you're not in the bodybuilding world yeah. uh, specifically. Uh, so this is more like a lot of competitors will get to that point where they get down. Yeah. So their no, that's metabolism a, that's a, is so low. That's a great point. So we can bring, so we can take this down to the audience who's not into the bodybuilding world or understands that. But what you need to understand that when you, when you, even if you're not competing, you're just dieting, right? Lo- trying to lose weight, right. you're eating in a, a calorie restricted diet for an extended period of time. The body eventually adapts to that that new calorie intake. So if you're somebody who was, say, eating 2,500 to 3,000 calories, you went on a diet that restricts you down to 15 or 1,800 calories, and you've been on that for six, eight, 12 weeks to get to your goal. And you get to your goal. What you don't want to do is go back to your twenty five or twenty eight hundred eating calories because the body is now adapted. Right. So you need to reverse diet, meaning you need to slowly introduce calories over the course of the next two, four, six, eight, twelve weeks, depending on how long it takes you to get up to whatever calorie intake you want to be up to. And this, what this will do is is naturally allow the body to slowly adapt to the new caloric intake without throwing a ton of extra calories on and then adding body fat. So that's the idea or concept behind it. 